I hit recording this time. Last time I tried to film this video, I freaking didn't even hit recording and I was talking to myself for 30 minutes. So let's get this party started. Welcome back to a Q&A with me. <sighs> okay, wait, wait, let me say that. Let me, let me do that. <clears throat> so I asked you guys to literally ask any questions that you want to know about me on TikTok, which you should go follow, which is Athena. I'm trying to hit one mil before John Sandman. Please let me so he has to do so many Athena flicks. Thank you, sorry, sidetrack. Anyway. You guys asked questions. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do it. You ask me the juiciest questions and I will tell you the answers. Where should we start? Let's start with Ike I9. What inspired you to play Rocket League stream? Okay, the basics. Okay. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. I, there's no way in hell that I could have predicted that. Uh, no, I, I started YouTube or started streaming as a joke i didn't have any plans to become a content creator or any plans to be a rocket league streamer you know what i mean like i had some friends and we always gamed they're like hey you should stream and i'm like okay haha -ha, watch me i played this game called shell shock live because i watched jerome asf beijing canadian and all of them play it and i was like that looks like fun i started streaming it right and i was able to get a face cam a mic and a controller and eventually able to upgrade my internet through after like two weeks and it was just absolutely unreal. I then two weeks later, I started playing Rocket League and then things just kind of took off from there. I, uh, I didn't expect to blow up the way I did. I got partner on Twitch in four months, which is unreal. I started playing around November, 2016. That's when I officially first started streaming was later that month. And then things just kind of took off. I got partnered on Twitch on March and then I signed with G2 June, 2018. And it has been crazy it's been crazy sorry 2019 it's been absolutely unreal and i'm forever thankful for the opportunity and the chance that they they took on me who'd have thought literally five years ago i'd still be getting bullied for how i play rocket league not me i definitely didn't see that because you guys would never bully me right you guys would never use the athena flick or anything like that to 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 uh, as ammo against me next question where are you from from mathis.me okay i'm from texas i am born and raised in austin texas i love it here i've lived here my whole life a lot of people are moving here which listen everyone's welcome except people from california i'm so sorry but listen we're not gonna put 20 different types of juice stands up in texas okay we're not doing that no but honestly it is it, i love it here i love it here and it it's awesome it's honestly oh so, it's i don't know how to explain it my family's here and i'm very thankful to be able to be near them and to be able to work from anywhere while doing the job that i have is a blessing and i'm very thankful for that <coughs> let us go to the next question what is your favorite mechanic in rocket league from starsavage.yt i know what you want me to say Aaron, do not show Aaron's my editor do not show a clip nothing okay no sassiness nothing okay my favorite mechanic is is absolutely essential for rocket league i think hitting an open net is boom the best mechanic you can have because you actually can't win without uh without scoring an open net no please don't Please, no. No, please don't, please don't. No! Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. Mm, the more you know. The more you know. Okay. Oh, God, this is going to be a long video. Mm, is there a mechanic that you really want to learn? Oh, from Mike 2006. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, listen, I know there's probably like answer A, answer B, answer C. Can I hit D like all of the above? Can I just learn everything? Because I feel like I need to learn everything. Because every time I tune into streams, you have all these streamers, all these YouTubers. I hit a triple musty off the wall, breezy flick, tornado, a pinch off the pole. You think my vocabulary that is that extensive? Like I'm, I, I, like someone, I kid you not, someone came into my stream. They're like, did you check my email? And I was like, what email? And so I went and looked at the email and he says, I created a mango flick. I swear to God, you guys are creating flicks at left and right and center. Okay. I just, I don't know. I can't even keep up. I can't even keep up. So I would like to learn all of them. There isn't just one. I need to learn all of them so I can finally be stupidly good at this game. Okay. It's been too far. It's too far and too long that I just haven't. Anyway, 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 that haven't been good. Okay. I've been good at one point anyway. Did you ever aspire to be a content creator 
If not, what was your dream uh, dream job from Tenacity? If I could be any job and not have to worry about income, not have to worry about my stability, anything like that, I would love to be a kindergarten teacher. I feel like after learning so much with dealing with Twitch chat, I feel and just people in my comment section i could do so i could teach them so many new things like spelling manners etiquette <laughs> no but actually i would love to be a kindergarten teacher i just i love kids and i love i love watching them succeed and that is just something when i see other other people succeed and just radiate happiness it, ma it makes me happy so i think that is that would be something cool but no i never thought i'd be a content creator nope nope that was not i was going to school i was doing my like you know norm normie path normie path you know go to school get a job nine to five we're good nope out the window took a pause on school because this had my this has blown up and then as of this freaking year 2021 it's been going crazy you guys have literally made me go viral in the first month and changed my stream and my youtube and i'm there's so many people that are new here that are watching this hello welcome okay i'm just thankful for you guys i'm really thankful for you guys because it is unreal it's unreal the amount of growth okay next question <clears throat> what's the story behind you and Riz? oh you guys want the tea i've told this story 20 billion times but i will tell it to you again so dylan and i met on twitch no i did not hunt him down no i did not go and reach out to him first no i i feel like people get that i went in and slid in his dm stars no 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 let me make it very clear i had literally gotten out of a relationship a month prior to this and i was like no boys no boys okay i don't need no man in my life okay i'm gonna play games i'm gonna do school i'm gonna i'm gonna work on myself and i'm gonna do what i want to do <laughs> i start streaming two weeks I look over, Rizzo has now hosted you for a thousand viewers. A thousand people. A thousand people. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like a thousand. That's like that's like a high school. Okay, that's a high school. I, I was just baffled. And so I was like, okay, thank you so much. I, I didn't know who he is. And I was like, what does he want? I'm not gonna give him, I'm not gonna give him attention. I just I literally all my walls just went poof, like walls up. You know what I mean? And then uh we talked after stream and i was like thank you so much for the host we really appreciate it and he hits me with the you know i never host girls i only hosted two girls in like ever my stream um, ever in my stream career and you could you should feel very special i feel so special i was like wow that's so not i was like okay he hosts another girl the next day Australian with green hair. Hmm. Interesting, Dylan. Interesting, Dylan. Safe to say, I almost literally dropped him. I almost, I was, I was this close to just blocking him on everything. And I, my, I talked to my mom. I was like, Mom, this is. I don't, I don't want to get played. I don't. He probably thinks like he's some big shot, you know, Rocket League streamer with these viewers and everything. And I was like, Oh my God, chat. I kid you not. I just had a panic. Okay, I said chat, but listen. I just had a panic attack and thought I was streaming this when I looked over, but I, it says I'm recording this. So we dodged a bullet. <laughs> I literally, my my heart just melted. <laughs> yeah, I I was like, there's no way in hell I'm I'm putting up with it. And I talked to my mom. I talked to my mom and she was like, give him a chance. He seems nice. And I was like, okay, I'll give him a chance. But on my terms, I went and I found a link to a Minecraft planner and I sent it to him. He was like, what's this for? Like, I don't understand. This is for when you don't get your e-girl dates confused next time. I've never seen him backpedal and backtrack so fast in my entire life. In my entire life. I was just like, I'm not going to have any of this. If you're going to talk to me, you're going to talk to me, okay? Like, if this is something serious and this is something serious, but I'm not going to be a side option. I'm not going to be someone that you can just, you know, talk to and just lead on. No, okay? No, we're not about that. Safe to say, Dylan and I clicked and we talked day and night. Um for a month and then i had an extra ticket to pack south and i invited him to go and then we have been together ever since because he asked me to be his girlfriend on january 26th and we've been together four years which is unreal unreal so yeah it, it is i'm very thankful i met him he's my best friend and i love him so much so that's how we met and that's uh yeah i feel like a lot of people who are new to the scene they're just like you guys are dating yeah we're dating like it's crazy like that haha wow boy girl like that's crazy you know what i mean but yeah so that's how i met him on to the next question what do you prefer uh dogs or cats listen i love dogs i love dogs so much 
But I think if I was being realistic, I'd probably get a cat. Because if I get a dog, I want to be able to give it as much love and attention that I possibly can. And because Dylan and I are living together, right? Well, right now he's at the team house um, and we both stream a lot. It's going to be difficult to balance that out while having a pet. So I'd probably be more lenient on getting a cat um, just because I know it can do its own thing, but still get some love and attention. You know what I mean? So but I'm a dog person. I love, I love, I love, I love dogs. You know what I'm, I mean? I, I always say, you know, okay. Dylan has like pinged me on this. He's like, you say, you know what I mean so much. And now I'm hesitant. Now I'm just having backtracks. Okay. But it's fine. All right. Next question. Which YouTuber streamer inspired you or did you start by yourself? Well, technically I started by myself, but I didn't really watch streamers that much when I first started out. You know what's crazy? Before I started streaming, I watched John Sandman videos when he was at 30K subs. I watched, uh, a uh, Bayesian Canadian when he had 100k subs and Jerome ASF for those of you who don't know those are well you know John Sandman but like those are two very very uh big Minecraft YouTubers and I grew up watching them and I was just like to be able to be friends with them like whoopless I like Rob I remember I, I remember watching his videos like it's crazy to have those worlds like collide where you're actually mutuals and um they're awesome people and I'm forever grateful that I got to meet them but yeah, I I remember literally watching Rob and John doing their twos rank up videos when they were like diamond or they were plat. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy to see the growth. It's crazy to see the growth. Omar. Oh, I forgot someone earlier. Sorry, my guy. Uh, thank you so much for the question. What is it? Has, what has been the biggest achievement in your life? Mm, achievement. Oh, who said it? Who said it? Who said it? Um, where are you? Oh, Rian aim one one eight two seven. What's What's good? What's popping? Okay, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I'm proud of. I would say it's kind of different. I would say that I am, my biggest achievement in life is to be able to find my passion that I can succeed while, while make a job that I love and that I can do every single day. I think it is very rare for people to have that sweet spot where they can, they can do what they love they can make money and and financially be able to support themselves while doing it and have fun it, that is just something so rare because you often tend to see people get stuck in the nine to five jobs that they they're not able to pursue what they love to do and i'm just that is my greatest achievement is to be able to find something that i love doing and to be able to be with dylan and with my family and just be able to do that like i that is my biggest achievement sorry it got more serious but i know i could probably like say like some stat or say like um an achievement like that that i did on stream but i felt i felt like the one i just said it hits more close to home and something that i'm more proud of okay next question <clears throat> From 687225 Mia, how did you start gaming? What was your first OG game that made you the gamer girl today? I grew up playing Legend of Zelda, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh my God, the GameCube, the N64. I remember going to a place called Cool Cuts for Kids before I was able to get an N64 and playing uh, on those uh, gaming consoles that they had for kids. And I remember looking forward to it every single time. I just, I remember like, I remember like staying up late with like um with my brother and my dad and we would play Super Smash Bros and we would just play all night and it was just I made I made him hate Yoshi and he literally hates this character for the rest of his life <laughs> for the rest of his life because I just kept stomping <laughs> but no I just I love gaming with my family I'm very very thankful that they're passionate gamers i don't know shout out to some people who know what commander Con command and conquer is i played that on pc that was one of my very first pc games and uh pajama sam ah I, I don't know some people will recognize it but i think those are the some of the games um that i love like twilight princess will forever have a special place in my heart absolutely okay next question which land was your favorite to go to it would have to be 2017 gold rush so that was the very first land that i met all of dylan's friends and casters i met james uh james bot he's an rlcs caster shice he is a he's a part of the esports um management for psionics i met sis i met turtle fireburner dapper kronovi oh, i met kronovi but another event before seismic i met cuxer i met a bunch of other players that that was like my first event and they're super 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 sweet i think i met jazer i think I'm, I'm pretty sure i met jazer at that event but it, they're they're fantastic people and i'm very very thankful to to be able to know the people in the community that i do now because it has grown so much so much and then it's definitely has its pros and cons pros and cons of growing so much but it is it's amazing 
It's amazing. Next question. What's the best goal you've ever scored from Darku? Can I just say an open net, okay? That is it. Listen, I, I'm just, I, an open net, we're just gonna leave it at that. No Athena flicks, nothing, okay? Nothing. Open nets, by far, please insert a clip for an open net. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Why do you miss open nets? Okay. Kind of rude, kind of offensive from Joey. Joey, I've never missed an open net in my entire life. Aaron, if you put me missing open nets, I will fire you. I hope you know that. I've never missed an open net in my entire life. I would rather uninstall and delete my Twitch than, than miss an open net. Mm-hmm. Let's do one more. Are you planning on doing a fan meeting? Okay. Okay, okay. I want to do one so bad. I think with COVID and everything hitting, I, I, one of the things that I've missed is being able to meet you guys and talk to you guys because that's where some of my favorite memories come from. Um, I'm able to meet so many inspiring people and so many people that watch my content from all over the world. And I'm very thankful to be able to get to do that. And I want to meet you guys. I will find a way. It's just with everything going on in the world and health concerns and risks and things like that. Uh, I think it's safe for me to to be patient on and wait until lands come back but i can't wait to meet you guys thank you guys so much for watching this uh q a video my name's athena and leave a like and a comment on what i should do next if you guys enjoyed the content please subscribe with post notifications on i would appreciate it we're gonna go for the one mil on youtube the one mil okay i want to be up there with the big dogs i know that i may not have the flashiest mechanic i know i may not have the skills and talent to be up there but i can sure as hell freaking miss my uh, miss as many open nets as necessary to take to take me there okay i'll see you guys in the next video bye